Hi, in this activity, we will troubleshoot Enterprise Network. The scenario is uh, the company had just replaced the routers 1 and router 3 to accommodate a fiber connection between the two locations and the configurations from the previous routers with serial connections were modified and applied as a starting configuration and now we will uh, verify the switching technologies, verify uh, DSCP service uh, and verify routing between the three routers and verify one technologies and lastly we will verify connectivity. Now on part one we will verify switching technologies. On this LAN of router one we should uh, enable the port security on uh, S1 on port uh, FAT Ethernet 0 slot 3. Now we will check for the uh, port security by enter the command show port security as you know uh, this feature is not enabled on this port so we should configure it uh, interface ship port port security and then uh, we will configure for the suite to learn the MAC address of PC1 and copy it to the running configuration. So we enter the port security, MAC address, sticky. And we limit the MAC address, only one MAC can be learned uh, on this port. So support port security maximum one and if the uh, violation occurs so it should disable the interface so we don't need to do anything because the default violation is shut, shut down so we can check for the our configuration I'm sorry, do show for security. Yeah, you can see the F0 slot 3, maximum 1, the current address uh, is 0 because uh, it hasn't been learned because we haven't uh, created the traffic uh, from PC1 and security violation and security action shut down now i will create the traffic by pinging from pc1 to router and then i can show do show run fat internet free sticky haven't got any traffic so we will check for the device in LAN uh, on S1 should be in VLAN 10. So to check for the VLAN on the switch, we should en enter the command do show VLAN brief. VLAN 10 F0 slot 3 and four okay and PC1 should be receiving an IP addresses from router one so now we take for the IP address DSCP it is requesting IP address And the SCP failed because uh, this LAN port on router one should be in VLAN 10, and so we will configure the interface on the router 
gigabit zero slot one on the router uh, to be in VLAN 10 so I will enter the command interface gigabit zero slot one uh, ship port mode access ship port access VLAN 10 and then we enable the port fast feature uh, spanning key port fast okay and then we click on the fast forward time and return to the PC and ask for the IP address as you see PC1 has received the IP address uh, from the router one. Next, we will examine the LAN on router 3. Uh, the LAN connected to router 3 had an additional switch added to the topology. Link aggregation using other channel is configured on switch 2, 3, and 4 and the other channel link should be set to trunk and the other channel link should be set to form a channel without using a negotiation protocol so we will issue some command to, to determine if, if the channel is working correctly now on C2 we will uh, show the port channel show add the channel summary PO1 and PO2 ok on seat 3 show add the channel summary you know the PO1 is down So we should check for the connection between C3 and C2 by using command show run. The port channel 1, native VLAN 99 and mode chunk. Now we check for the physical member port. 0, 1 and 0, 02 0, 01 native VLAN 99 0, 02 support mode chunk okay so we will reconfigure interface range Shipboard mode chunk. And channel channel group one mode on. Now we show Add the channel summary. You see the PO1 is now in use. Next, we will correct the chunk issues on C2. Show run. The fat is an at 01 mode chunk shipboard non negotiate mode on ok and mode on ok so nothing wrong on the on uh, port channel group 1 between the C2 and C3 anymore but we need to fix the 
configuration problem are between the seat 2 and router 3 where it should be the trunk and with the native VLAN 99 so on gigabit 0 slot 1 Shipboard mode chunk, shipboard chunk, native VLAN, not enough. Show interface chunk, show interface chunk. We have three chunking interface PO1, PO2, and gigabit uh, 0 slot 1 with the uh, native VLAN 99 okay. and now we uh, will check for the spanning tree uh, are running uh, between the three switches and uh, S2 should be the root bridge on uh, S2 we will enter the command we check for the root bridge show spanning tree so on VLAN 30, on VLAN 40, so this uh, switch is not the root. So to make uh, S2 is the root uh, bridge for all the VLAN, so we should use the command spelling key VLAN from 1 to 1 uh, uh, double zero 5 root primary spelling G and then we can do so spelling G so spelling G So you can see on VLAN 30, this bridge is a root, and 40 is a root too. Okay. Now we are on part two to verify the DSCP. Router one is a DSCP for the LAN one, uh, and router three the DSCP server for LAN three. So to check for the DSCP configuration on router tree, we will show run, show run, and begin with DSCP service. You see here. Firstly, we uh, it uh, excluded three range of address and the pool for LAN 30 the pool for LAN 40 you know the default router on LAN 40 is wrong because here's a 40 not 30 and LAN 50 the wrong because uh, it uh, must be 50 so we should fix it On part 3, we will verify the routing and all routers are configured with OSPF process ID 1 and no routing updates should be sent across interface that do not have router connected. It means uh, we should uh, set the LAN interface on uh, each router, the LAN interface, to the passive interface. And then router 2 is uh, configured with IPv4 default route pointing to the ISP and redistributes the default route in the OSPF v2 domain. And router 2 is configured with the default IPv6 fully qualified default route pointing to the ISP and redistributes the default route in the OSPF v3 domain. And that is configured on router 2. Uh, you should read it carefully. So now on router 3, we will show the IP table 
for OSPF routing. Show IP route that is learned by OSPF. The first route, the second, and you see here the we had three rounds learned from OSPF and you can see here so router 3 have learned enough uh, information uh, through OSPF uh, from other routers now uh, we will ping uh, the outside host from router 2 as well here I set the ping ping the IP the ping is successful but on PC1 to try to ping to the outside hots it's unreachable so why because uh, router 2 is not update the default route to other routers so we should fix it by using the command default information originate Default information originate, and I'll check for the configuration on router one. Enable show IP route. We see the this uh, default route, and now I can ping from PC one to the outside host. Uh, we get the request timeout four times. I can click on fast forward time and ping again. One request timeout reply. Two request timeout. Maybe it's not successful. Okay, so how to fix this problem? So we should uh, begin with part 4. Verify one technologies. And on router 1, we will chase to this IP address. It's a uh, address from of the DTP server. But before chase to the this server, we, we should chase from the PC one to the outside host. I think so. And you see, the last hope it can chase is this IP address. And two is a router two, so it cannot go to the outside host. So maybe uh, because of NAT or uh, uh, something like that. Uh, so uh, we should check for the NAT, and uh, we uh, win set the uh, IP NAT inside on the serial 000 and the IP NAT outside uh, on the gigabit 0 slash 0 so you can do it yourself so that is all for this activity guide thanks for watching